Good morning, what is up everybody? Welcome to this week's Jesse Speck YouTube video. As you can see, I got a haircut, <laughs> first of all. And other thing, I'm in Ticino, in the Italian part of Switzerland, on a little break from this whole situation going on. So anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post today's video that is a bit more tuning related of the MR2 2ZZ. You will see there is actually going to be a lot of impression of how it feels to have 200 horsepower in the 2ZZ swapped MR2 on street usage. So without further ado, join me and let's dive right into it. All right, we're back in the warehouse. Today, as you can probably see slightly, the weather is much nicer. I'm today again on my MR2 on the dyno and yesterday thanks to I'd say four people so first of all Tim, Felipe that came and helped me out while I was looking for the problem, Stevie with his brother and uh, Didier that you saw in the um, Ignis Supercharged. All these guys helped me a little bit and we thought all together and we managed to figure out what was the problem with my MR2. So the 2ZZ, we've been having a weird bog going on and to make a really long story short, in the end, it is my fault. On the cam angle sensor, sorry, um, I noticed that I was getting no signal to the ECU. And uh, so in my Apexi, as I showed in the previous video, I was getting zero degrees angle the whole time and that actually was simply because the ECU could not pick up what was going on. So also what I realized is my car, although it should have and that's thanks to Steve's feedback, it never started without the Power FC which is actually something dodgy that I should have realized since the beginning because it should start. So I'm putting that out there so anybody can quote me on this. I actually did the research and found out. The only thing you have to do is have the swap harness and switch two cables on the airflow sensor and your car will run fine with the stock ECU. I've just tried it out, it works. So why did my car not start before? So very easy and to make a really long story short, the camshaft angle sensor, myself, me, an idiot, pinned the, the sensor, there are two, two cables going in there, I pinned them wrong into the plug. And the really stupid thing about all this is, because I had still the 2ZZ Loom from the Corolla, and I compared it, and I kept comparing it, and I realized that actually it was correct. And the stupid thing in all of this is actually when I took the plug, I realized actually when I looked at the 2ZZ, plug of the variable cam sensor, it was the broken plug. And then I realized, ah. So basically my reference that I was looking at on the 2ZZ loom was actually also wrong because I pinned it wrong at the moment I swapped connectors. I put it back in like I had on this car because I thought this was correct, but actually I had put in it wrong during the swap process. You know, sometimes something as stupid as two little cables can make something totally go wrong and so the stock ECU refused to start so that's also something that made it really confusing but with the power FC the car started immediately and was running actually pretty happily other than this bog that I was getting so yeah many complicated things but in the end something totally simple and if I can give one advice to any hobby mechanic is always look at stuff you touched first before thinking Oh, it's a sensor that's broken. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. No. First, look at your work you did before thinking something else is broken or somebody else did something. Because in 99.9% .9 of the cases, at least in my personal experience, it's due to human error and things happen. So, yeah, that's okay. So I'm putting myself out there in a vulnerable way. But like that, you understand what went wrong. So now, Let's get finally into the tuning and see what we can get out of this 2ZZ.
horsepower, but let's give it a try and see what it has to offer. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I understand the hype now. Damn. Okay, you can probably tell my face is totally different compared to last time. And yeah, I'm finally getting the smile that I was supposed to get thanks to the lift. Okay, so let's do some more. Roughly at 200 horsepower at the engine. It's it's good. I hope I'll be able to get some more out of it because I was expecting a bit more to be honest. But anyway, I'll be doing a little bit digging a bit deeper. Also on on the tune, see if I can get a bit more power out of it thanks to the tune. But Honestly, it was it's pretty on point right now. It feels really good. I probably can squeeze a little bit more out, but Yeah, this is like how do you say it? this is like really the gross tune and there's definitely more power to be gotten but Yeah, for the moment the idea is to drive it a bit while I'm still allowed to and once that's done then I'll go into more details of the tuning and everything. And yeah, that's really awesome. Like, I'm so happy. And I'm really thankful to my buddies who helped me find the problem. And with my own stupid mistake, but at least we could solve the problem. And from now, I don't know how much longer the car will be a street car. Probably I'll be taking it off the road, to be honest, because it's getting a bit wild. And yeah, I'm not sure everybody likes this car. So yeah, I'll probably be canceling the license plates really soon. Anyway, so let's hear some more lift. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> 
all right we're back in the hotel room <laughs> so as you could see this video is more of an impression video of how it felt and what i was actually looking forward to once i got the car finally on the road so i'm really happy it feels amazing it's so responsive it's very torquey and so let's talk a little bit about the tuning so for the moment i've only done three hours of tuning on the engine on the dyno because in all honesty i wasn't able to take any more time to do it so anyway i i got more than stuck so i got 199 i think the best run i had was 199.9 so just below the 200 engine horsepower mark so that's engine uh, so that's power at the crankshaft okay so it's not wheel horsepower or axle horsepower it's really at the engine estimated and I use the same transmission loss factor as I used with the 2ZZ when it was in the Corolla. So it makes perfect sense and it shows that I actually made a gain out of my modifications and everything. You can see also that it's a very rough tune because I did not try to optimize torque and everything still to the maximum. So I'm pretty sure there's still some gains to be made. There will be another video to show you the, the increase from there. So anyway, I want to just post this video and I want you to see a little bit how it feels once the engine actually works well. And I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I'm still in the hotel in Ticino in the Italian part of Switzerland with my family doing a bit of a vacation. Things have been very busy recently and with the whole situation going on, it's important to a little bit take some time off and enjoy life a little bit because I felt like things are getting a little bit hectic at the moment. So anyway, I really want to thank you guys for your support. If you haven't subscribed yet or liked this video, please make sure to do so because this helps me to grow the channel, creating content for you guys. So I want to thank you very much for all your support and all the guys that have already uh, subscribed to my channel. And I'm happy to welcome all the new ones if you haven't yet done so. <laughs> and I will see you next week. Cheers.